India's 15th president, India's first tribal president, first president born after independence. Draupadi Murmu is a woman of many firsts. In this Kalkhand, the country has a new Rastpati, a new Uprastpati. Nearly 5,000 MPs and MLAs across the country voted on 18th July to elect the newest occupant of the Raisina Hill. Timati Draupadi Murmu, Inko Rashtrapati ka pratyashi ghoshit kiya gaya hai, NDA ki taraf se. An announcement that did not come as much of a surprise as in 2017 too, her name had figured in the NDA's shortlist for India's top constitutional office. Ramnath Kovind had then emerged as the dark horse. With the numbers stacked overwhelmingly in the favour of the NDA, Draupadi Murmu's election was high on symbolism and less about the numbers game. An election which is witnessing the changing political axis. A selection that has placed the opposition camp in a quandary. Uddhav Thakre, forced by the Shiva Sena MPs, broke ranks from allies in Mahavika Sagadi to back her. TDP's Chandrababu Naidu came out to even campaign for her in Andhra Pradesh. Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, India's only tribal party, had to support as well. After all, she had served as the governor of Jharkhand. My family is very poor. I have a little finance. I have to support them. That's why I have to get a little bit of money. I have to go to politics, I have to go to politics, I have to go to politics. 64-year-old Draupadi Murmu, low profile and soft-spoken, has generally steered clear of controversy. She was also the only governor to complete a full term in office in Jharkhand, which has had 10 governments in its two decades of existence. The central government has been very happy in the name of my wife. The first time of the year of the year, the first time of the year of the year, चुना गया ना वही सबसे खुशी बात है। पूरा रायरंगपुर के साथ ही उनका बहुत अच्छा संपर्क रहा है। सबका उन्होंने हमेशा साथ और सहयोग दिया और बहुत ही प्यार भरा संपर्क रहा है उनका सबों के साथ में। हमारे किसी भी प्रोग्राम में वो हमेशा आगे रहते थे और सब की बातें सुनते थे। तो काउंसलर से होके विधायक भी बन Born into a Santhali farmer's home in Uper Beda village of Mayur Bhanj district, Murmu persisted with her studies even though she had to leave her village after class 7 in order to do so. With the help of relatives, she completed her schooling in Bhubaneswar and then joined Ramadevi Women's College. After her studies, Murmu got a job with the Odisha's Irrigation and Power Department. She, however, quit the job after she got married to Shyam Charan Murmu, a bank employee, and moved to Rairangpur, a town about 20 kilometers from her native village. She started teaching at the Sri Aurobindo Integral Education and Research Center in Rairangpur. It was here that her work with a Santhal organization, where she had enrolled in the 1990s, caught the attention of the BJP's Raj Kishore Das. Back then, it was a party that did not have much political influence in the state. Seeing potential in Murmu, he asked her to contest for councillor in the Rairangpur Notified Area Council. In 1997, she became councillor and later vice chairperson of the Rairangpur Corporation. टू थाउजेंड में नाइंटी से पांच साल का ये तो आप जानते हैं टॉर्म होता है लेकिन बीच में मुझे जो जनरल इलेक्शन आ गया मुझे दो हजार में टिकट दिया गया उन्होंने कहा आपको तो लड़ना है मैंने बोला मेरे बच्चे छोट 
छोटे छोटे हैं मुझे ये तो काउंसिलर में थी वाइस चेयरमैन थी तो टाउन के अंदर मुझे घूमना पड़ता था फिर अभी तो मुझे पूरा क्षेत्र में घूमना पड़ेगा तो टाइम नहीं दे पाऊँगी फिर फिर मुझे थोड़ा मैंने बोला ठीक है चलिए बच्चे भी बोले ठीक है माँ तुम लड़ना चाहती हो तो लड़ो She served twice as a BJP MLA in Odisha and also worked as a minister in the Navin Patnaik government from the 2002 to 2004 when the BJP and Biju Janata Dal ran a coalition government. She was awarded the Nilkant award for the best legislator by the Odisha Legislative Assembly. Draupadi Murmu's candidature signifies the BJP's efforts to bring the tribal and other marginalized communities to the mainstream. A convincing example of sabka saath sabka vikas. It's an outreach to the strong 10.42 crore scheduled tribes population of India who are largely in Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Jharkhand and Maharashtra and other states in northeast. The BJP hopes the message of the first tribal woman president of India will help them expand their footprints in tribal belts across the country and earn immediate electoral dividend in the upcoming polls. The move comes ahead of assembly elections in Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh. The four states have 128 seats reserved for scheduled tribes. of which the bjp had won just 35 in the last assembly elections the bjp is also hoping that her candidature will strengthen its political hold in odisha and get a foothold in jharkhand where it lost the elections in 2019 aaj bhi hum kehte hain ki adivasiyon mein odisha odisha mein santhal progressive hai lekin itna bhi progressive nahi hai ki wo dusron ke sath compete kar paaye इसीलिए और भी और भी थोड़ा अभी हम अभी भी फाउंडेशन स्टेज में है आगे जाने के लिए महिला को और पुरुष को दोनों को आगे आना होगा जैसे परिवार चलाने के लिए दोनों की आवश्यकता है इन 2017 एज गवर्नर मुर्मू रिटर्न टू कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल बिल्स द छोटा नगर टेनेंसी एक्ट एंड संथाल परगना टेनेंसी एक्ट in view of the widespread agitation from tribes after the state sought to dilute their rights over their land this move against the then cm of the bjp raghubar das cemented her as the real custodian of tribal aspirations and tribal cause draupadi murmu got support of mlas across party lines polling over 60% of votes her elevation as the president reflects the triumph of the spirit of new resilient india where any citizen can rise to occupy the highest constitutional office of india in new delhi this is maria shakil